Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for September 15, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to support our channel over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we're starting by looking at ARK Innovation, and as you can see, we're down 1.33%. It has been a horrible um, last week, you could say that. Last the six trading days, it has dropped roughly 7.77%. And at the moment, we're getting fairly close to the 300 moving average. We can see that we have basically gotten this close twice the last uh, year. This was basically mid-May and then yet again in the beginning of August and now yet again in the beginning of September. So we may go and test the 300 moving average, but this should be massive amount of support. If the 300 moving average, then this will drop significantly. If you look at the uh, bull in Japan, we can see that we may drop another 2% to the downside before we get to uh, major support, also where we found major support to pass to 113. You can see the MACD is bearish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, stochastic is bearish. So momentum is definitely to the downside. So let's look at DVI. So DVI also fell 1.1% uh, at this current stage and just above the 150 moving average. This should be also where we found a massive support. If this breaks into 200 moving average, it's down here at 111. So that's a drop of roughly 4.22%. But we are basically at the bottom of the bullish band. So pullback in tomorrow's session that could, or a rally, a small rally in, in tomorrow's session that could be possible up towards the middle of the bullish band or halfway here. If you look at the MACD, it is basically bearish, RSI is bearish, CGI is bearish, and so is the stochastic at this point. But we're approaching a major support, so expect uh, a bounce from here up towards probably the 50 moving average before if this were to drop significantly lower, then we have to have a closing below the 150. So let's look at VTI. So VTI has also dropped uh, significantly today and it's approaching the 50 moving average. And the 50 moving average is where we have found quite a lot of support in the past. You can see here, 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 and basically everywhere. It has occasionally broken down towards the, uh, uh, the 100 moving average. You can see it right here. And also last year, this was basically October and September last year. So yes, yeah, September has not has been bad but has not been as bad as it was last year last year it was horrific and uh, if we break the 50 moving average then we may go and challenge the 100 moving average down here at 223. if we look at macd it is a bearish rsi is bearish stochastic is bearish and so is the no cgi is bearish and so is stochastic and there's a lot of room to the downside before we hit the bottom of the bullish band. So this may drop significantly further, roughly 1.10% to the downside before we hit the bottom of the bullish band. Uh, for we find this becomes fairly overstretched. But momentum, definitely to the downside. If we were to bounce from here, then we have to break above the previous highs here of 131 in order to go higher. So let's look at MCHI. So, AMCHI, we can see that this has dropped below the uh, 20 expansion moving average yet again. So, yes, Chinese market just doesn't do it. It's, uh, had, we have a double bottom here, and it kind of looks like we're going to test that for the third time. If that basically breaks, then watch out below, because this is going to drop significantly lower, probably towards uh, 57. That's kind of where we're going to drop towards, roughly here. So that's 18.19% to the downside. That sounds crazy, but that's the next uh, that's the next uh, support levels. We are below the middle of the bullish band, so clear room to the bottom here, which is roughly 5.95% to the downside, where we find the previous um, supports level here. If you look at the MACD, it's still bullish, but it's uh, turning around quite aggressively. Uh, we have the RSI here. It's also bearish. CCI is bearish, and stochastic is definitely better bearish this is definitely momentum to the downside at this point so let's look at ibb no sorry yes so this is uh, approaching the 50 moving average we're right at the 40 exponent exponential which has been supported in the past but 
kind of looks like this is going to continue uh, to the downside. If we break the 50 moving average, then we are going to probably approach the 100 moving average, but that will be very, very bearish indeed. Uh, we find the bottom of the bullish band here. There's another drop of roughly 1% to the downside. If you look at the MACD, it is bearish. Uh, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. But the 50 moving average, if we go back in the past, has been massive support. There have been occasions where we dropped towards the 100. And this was in back in March. This was in October last year and October, September last year. So September is horrible for the stock market and wouldn't be surprised if we go and retest the 100 moving average. But if the 50 holds and then we may bounce from here and head back to the previous size. So hope you find helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.